In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to get your partner or wife to want you again, to wanna have sex with you, to wanna fuck you, to wanna desire you, but not just that, on how to reconnect the spark and the intimacy, on how to be appreciated and how to be loved as a modern day man. For those of you that don't know, my name is Tony Versick. I'm the founder of the Empowered Man Movement. We've got a million dollar coaching business where we help business owners reignite their relationship with their wife, their kids, and themselves, make more money, have more sex, and live an epic life. Ultimately, the quality of your relationships affects the quality of your life. And if your marriage, it does not have spark or intimacy inside of it, then that's gonna affect your business, your money game. It's gonna affect your health mentally and physically, and it's gonna affect every single area of your life. So watch this video to learn how to get your partner or wife to desire you again. There's five simple steps and I'm gonna walk you through them right now. A bit of a story to get this started. So four or five years ago at the time of recording this, my wife and I had just started, you know, getting together. We were dating, we were having sex every single day. We we're, you know, doing it multiple times a day and it was all fun and dandy. I was working hard in the business and when I wasn't working, I was with her and we loved each other and we desired each other so massively. But then a few years into the relationship, things began to change. I would work all day, I would be stressed and tired. I would come home and I would expect to get laid, but she wanted to talk and she wanted to be supported around the house and she wanted someone to listen to her and understand her. And it became a game of resentment. She wasn't giving me what I wanted, which was sex, because I am a man and that is one thing I deeply desire. And she didn't feel appreciated, she didn't feel understood. I didn't feel appreciated for all the hard work I did and it became this game of less. There was less connection, less intimacy, less sex, but also more resentment. I, I resented her for not giving me what I wanted. The story in my head was that I'm giving you the lifestyle you want, so therefore you should repay me. And then when we did end up having sex, it felt like a chore. It felt like I was you know, coming onto her and I could see on her face she wasn't really into it, which really knocked my confidence as a alpha male and a high performing man with an ego who, who has a business and is successful to see that really knock me for six. And this went on for a little while. I was blaming her for not giving me what I wanted and she was blaming me for not making her feel appreciated or understood for what she did at home. And it became this vicious cycle that could have caused the relationship to break down. So how do we get out of this? Well, the biggest thing that happened was I took responsibility. I realized that my wife isn't a sex slave and she's not there to provide me with pleasure. And I never thought that way, but I, I suppose as men, we think that because we work hard and because we make money and because we provide that our partner should reciprocate through sexual acts, and it's simply not the truth. Now, every single man and every single woman is different. And obviously with what's going on in the world right now, it's very politically correct to talk about this sort of stuff, but I don't give a fuck. This is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. And I've got nothing against you if you differ from what I'm about to say. But typically men, typically are more physical and they don't need much to get warmed up. A little bit of a nip slip here, a little bit of a thigh there, and most of us get hard and most of us get excited and horny and aroused. But typically with women, not always, sometimes they're just as aroused as men, Typically, they need more of an emotional connection to feel the physical manifestation of desire. That spark in a relationship is a desire. It's wanting. It's that primal urge within us to go out there and hunt and to kill and to fuck. And it's very easy for men to have that desire because it's a masculine trait. The feminine trait is more akin to you know, nurturing and loving and giving and being the nurturer in a relationship. So they need that emotional connection to feel that desire and that love. Typically, that is the caveat to that. If you wanna improve your relationships and you're getting value from this video, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It helps us a ton and we can help you with more valuable content. So the way I was able to turn things around in my relationship was I was able to actually start making my wife desire me but the intention wasn't to make her desire me. The intention was to make her feel loved. The intention was to make her feel appreciated. And the intention was to make her feel understood. And the way I did that was by creating a system called the daily deposits. Now this system will change your relationship forever. Not only will you be able to have more sex and intimacy, not only will you reignite the spark in your relationship, you'll also go into a place where you can communicate and connect on a much deeper level where your partner feels loved and she wants to give you that same love back. Not because it's a chore, not because you're the partner or the husband, because she wants you and desires you because she feels so good within herself. Now the daily deposits is a simple principle. Imagine your partner is a bank, right? And that bank has a 
balance of cash inside of it. Let's just say it's money. Now, if you go to the bank and you try and withdraw $10,000, Let's say sex is worth $10,000 as an example here. And that bank teller says to you, sorry, there's only $5 in the bank account. You're not going to be able to withdraw that money. You're not going to be able to withdraw that balance. Now there is an option here that you go into overdraft. So maybe he gives you a loan or maybe he gives you that bank balance and you take it out. But now you're in the negative. And this has happened to me when I was having sex with Rosie. It's like she wasn't into it. She would do it because that was her job, even though it wasn't and it's not. But she would do it because she wanted to make me feel good, but she didn't want to do it. She almost felt forced to do it. And then I would go into overdraft. And this is what we do as men and as human beings. We try and withdraw from our partner. We try and withdraw from that bank. But the bank is empty because we haven't made any deposits. There's no money in that bank. And this is the problem with relationships is we expect our partner to meet our needs and they also expect us to meet their needs. And it becomes this vicious cycle where no one wants to back down and be the bigger man or woman. So these daily deposits is about filling that bank. But instead of money, it's a bank of love. It's a bank of appreciation. It's a bank of understanding and it's a bank of support. So the technique here is very, very simple. This is a challenge you do for a year. You can do it for a day, a week, a month, and a year. I recommend you start with the weekly option. So every single day for a week, what you want to do is you want to make deposits in that love bank for your partner. You want to make deposits of love, deposits of appreciation, deposits of understanding, and deposits of support. And you can pre-plan this on the weekend. Our Empowered Man clients, we have a tool called the weekly battle plan where every week we prepare this stuff so you don't forget about it because it's busy being a modern day man and you actually get this stuff ready but it could be something as simple as this on a monday in the morning you send your wife a text and that text pre-frames the text and it says something like i know this sounds weird because it is weird because you probably never do this i know this sounds weird i just wanted to tell you that i appreciate you so much for all the work you do at home you're an amazing mother and an amazing wife I love you X, right? So you've used that word appreciate. Then the next day on a Tuesday, you might say it vocally instead of texting it. You might grab her around the waist and say, I just want you to know that I understand how difficult it is being the housewife. I wouldn't use those words, how difficult it is being at the house and looking after the laundry and the dishes and the mess that the kids make. I just want you to know, I can't begin to understand how difficult that is and you keep pushing through. And then you reinforce the things that she's doing well because she is doing well. It's fucking hard being a mother. It's so challenging looking after children full time. It's also super challenging being a business owner, an entrepreneur, or a career driven man. It's fucking hard dealing with the stress and the pressure, but it's a different type of difficulty. And then on a Wednesday, you might say, I just wanna say that I love you and you start using language and words. Now there's gonna be another video that you can watch that has the love languages because this is just one way of putting a deposit in the bank. The way we're using right now is by saying things, but what if you say something to your partner and they go, mm, I don't really feel it. That's exactly what my wife Rosie is like. I can tell her I understand and she's like, I don't give a fuck. She doesn't say that, that's, that's my interpretation. She'll say, show me you understand. So another way you could do this is you could get your wife flowers. You could on a Wednesday, send her flowers or bring her flowers. On a Thursday, you could set up a regular date night, which is something we teach all of our Empowered Man clients to do. Every single week, whether you have children or not, you should be having a date night with your partner. Think about it, when we first start dating, we're constantly together, we're going out to dinners, we're eating together, and then after a few years, what happens? We stop acting the same way that made us fall in love with each other. Of course the fucking spark disappears. So there's five different types of ways you can make your partner feel loved and make a deposit. The first one is words of affirmation, so telling them. The second one is acts of service, doing something for them, showing them. The third one is quality time, spending time with your partner. When you switch off from a long day at work, actually looking in her eyes and communicating and asking about her day and listening. Fourth one is gifts. Gifts, being able to give them something like flowers or a gift, a lot of partners like that. And then the fifth way you can do this is by physical touch. So giving them a massage or guess what, sex. Maybe your partner does have physical touch. Now the purpose of this is to choose one of those five areas Words is the easiest one, not necessarily the best one, but the easiest one. 
identifying what your partner resonates with. If you tell her that you appreciate her and she doesn't feel it, you pick up on that and you try a different tactic and then maybe getting her flowers or maybe opening the door or maybe organizing a trip away. And you do this every single day for an entire week. And once you've done a week, you do another three weeks and you do an entire month. And once you've done a month, you do another 11 months and you do 12 months in total. And you do this every single day for the rest of your life. And you make daily deposits into your partner's love bank. You make daily deposits of love, appreciation, support, understanding. You give them your time. You give them your energy. You give them your effort. You give them your, your thoughts and feelings. And you do this with the expectation of nothing in return. You do this because you love them. You do this because they deserve to be loved, understood, and appreciated. You do it not wanting sex in return. You do it because you fucking care. And as that balance starts to build up, there is now $10,000 and $100,000 and a million dollars in that bank. When you do want to withdraw from that bank, whether it's in the form of sex or her supporting you in some way, shape, or form, she is often going to oblige. And this is exactly what happened with Rosie and I. I was giving her daily deposits. I stopped expecting to get laid. I stopped expecting for her to meet my needs. I just started giving her what she needed and being the bigger man. Because some men might go, that's not fair. Why do I have to do all the work? It's not about that. It's about stepping up and being the man for your partner. And then one day after about a month of doing this, she came into my office out of the blue while I was working and jumped my bones. And I'm not gonna get into the details, but it was a very fun, raunchy moment. That is the power of daily deposits. This is how simple it is. If there is no balance in the bank, how can you take anything out? How can you actually withdraw without going into overdraft and creating debt? And that debt starts to build up. So if you're lacking the spark in your relationship, if that intimacy or sex has disappeared, if you feel like your partner doesn't appreciate all the hard work you do or understand you, then first you get to make deposits into their love bank, deposits of appreciation, love and support so that you can fill their cup so you can make them feel loved and by definition they're often going to reciprocate not all the time but most of the time that my friend is the power of the empowered man daily deposits so your mission for this video is for the next month to make a daily deposit of love appreciation and understanding into your partner you can pre-plan this or you can do it off the cuff and i guarantee your spark your intimacy and sex is going to go through the roof. If you got value from this video, then please do me a favor, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the little bell icon. We release videos like this every single week on how to improve your relationship with your partner, how to improve the relationship with yourself, the man in the mirror, how to take control of negative thoughts and feelings so that you can make more money, have more sex, but ultimately be happy and fulfilled as a modern day man because your family deserves the best you and so do you. So there's a video up there as well you can watch on how to improve your communication in six little hacks. So if you're arguing with your partner, if you're feeling disconnected, go and watch that video right now and I'll see you for the next one.